Hey everyone, one about here, and welcome back to some more Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. It's been, uh, what, a week since I last played, and they've already got a new update out, so I guess I'm being pulled right back in. So we've got this Salt Pits. Complete the drive, or drive, dive. 35 with Driller, and mine 3,000 blocks of rock and stone. That should be nice and easy, so let's do Driller, and what do we want to do for our build? You know... Do we want to do strong armed? I still am not a big fan of the impact axe, but yeah, let's do strong armed. Because it did it didn't say that I had to pick a specific build, right? No, it's just 35 with a driller. Oh boy, this is a different map. It's honestly kind of creepy, the the redness of it. But yeah, we're also on hazard one, so this should be a uh, comical. And we'll just figure out figure it out as we go. i I don't know, I gotta get back into the swing of things. Uh, do we want to just grab it now? We're just going to go for the reload speed. I might come off as a little weird today. My, uh, I more or less, wait, what? There's a, it's a thing saying mine this? What did that do? I have no idea. What? Okay. This has changed a fair bit. Does it just, like, drop a bunch of spikes on enemies? It does, and it hits them and it kills them, and that's cool. All right. Yeah, bear with me a little bit. I'm a little out of it today. Plasma Burster. Yeah, let's get that up. Uh, my... More or less, my blood has decided to leak out my nose endlessly today, so I'm... I'm a little... I'm a little out of it. I mean, I don't know. It just happens. It's, uh, it's very dry out today, and so I, I'm going to be a little out of sorts. I'm trying to play because, uh, I don't know, brain man. I'm not feeling bad. Like, it's weird. Usually when I when it becomes like migraine day for me, oh, this stuff is tough. So I got to keep that in mind. It's actually really easy to dig through most of this, but there's really hard chunks to be aware of. Usually when I, I have like a really bad nosebleed day, uh, it usually comes paired with just the most punishing of headaches. Today, it seems to actually be a little bit more manageable, which is nice so far. Uh, I haven't exactly been pressing myself to do much, which is nice. Uh, just hang out on the couch, play Unicorn Overlord, do a little bit of recording when I feel up for it. Just chill. It's nice. And then also, uh, being able to play a game that I'm reasonably good at, kind of. I don't know. I'm vaguely good at this game. I'll, I'll make that claim. Not as good as some people, but I don't care. Uh, let's see. Chance to find Nitro when we mine? Yeah. Let's go for that. I'd like to get a magnet here, but it's not going to bug me if I don't. Oh, it feels like we got the uh, plasma grenade really early in this run. But that might just be me. I mean, obviously, it is just me. Uh, let's, let's just max it out. We're not going to be able to use the overclocks. By the way, uh, one thing I should mention that I was I was looking at the patch notes for it. Your starting guns uh, for each of the classes come with their over overclocks. That was like my biggest complaint about this game and they fixed it. It's not a problem anymore. I think I still don't like the idea of the overclock system being unlockable to begin with. I actually would rather there be other things to unlock, but eh, it's fine. Okay, so we've already got all the pocket blooms we could possibly want here. Not as much on the experience side of things, but we'll... I mean, it's reached 35. I could do that without trying. Anyway, so we're just going to run around, grab what experience we can. Uh, finish mining out the area? If there's even anything left to mine out. I was pretty thorough. I guess what I should do is just mine rock and stone. As that is kind of my objective here. Okay, probably don't hit this one. And luckily, we've got a ton of armor, so I'm not too worried about taking damage. Okay. Extra explosive damage does actually affect the axe. Good to know. I suppose it counts. And yeah, it's just... Let's just delay. Mine as much as we can. Grab as much experience as we can. Eh... Don't mess with that, it's not worth it. I like the little bouncy guys. They're kind of, uh, they're neat. It's a change of pace. I think that's just going to be true, universally true of, of every new map that they add. It's 
uh, a bit of new spice, so I'm not feeling like I'm eating the same meal endlessly. I'm still hoping for some exciting foundational challenge or challenges, changes. Uh, but I'm probably gonna have to wait on on that for quite some time, and that's that's okay. And who knows? It might just be kind of this this this. Do we want the high explosive grenade? Uh, sure. I guess I don't really care. Since we're on uh, hazard one, everything is just kind of goof to begin with. It doesn't really matter to me what picks I choose. And picking the plasma grenade and getting that maxed up. Ooh, I probably should not touch my left or my right nostril. That is actually risky. Uh, do I want 70 max HP? No. I don't. 18% reload speed, though. I do want that. I want that a lot. Let's go for the reload speed on the axes. We'll get it up to, to its first overclock level, and then I will probably just call it uh, call it there for the axe and switch to other weapons. Unless, of course, it forces me to do other things, at which point, well, all right, whatever. We're just stuck with it anyway. Let's just munch through. I'd like to get some more digging speed, but not forthcoming at the moment. And I guess when it, when it comes down to it, it doesn't matter that deeply to me. Because how much how much rock and stone have I already mined? I've already mined a thousand of it. So I think I'm good. The main reason why I want to mine a bunch of rock and stone, I mean, apart from, oh, the big rolly boys actually roll through the rock and stone. Like I said, that, they're going to add an interesting level of spice and I'm curious to see how that goes. And the main reason why I want to have that mining speed, oh boy is I specifically want to be able to um, get a bunch of nitro here. Let's get the axe. Leaves a fire trail, range of my axes. Let's go for the range. I have no reason for it, but I also have no reason not to do it. Okay, got everything else? Yeah, we're good. I think my main one, main, main thing that I hope they add is like way more, way more overclocks and way more exciting overclocks over the next couple of, ooh, uh, over the next couple of updates. I think those are pretty much the reason why this game is going to be, be good and remain interesting. Let's go for the movement speed. I want to be a, a zippy driller. I want to get the plasma grenade up to maximum, but it's already at level nine, and I'm not, I'm not too worried about getting it the rest of the way. Maybe we'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm just, I'm being extra cavalier once again. It's hazard one. Like what, what threatens me at this difficulty level? Not freaking much. Heck, we're even somewhat incentivized to take damage. I could go for that. Uh, I could go for that explosive damage, but I, I, I yeah, let's just max out the gun. Not think about it. Not worry about it. I wonder if I don't get nitra from the ro roly polies from the trails that they leave in the rock. So where are my enemies? I guess this map map is a little bit more like dense. There's a lot more rock, so it's probably easier to lose lose enemies here. Yeah, I bet I bet they don't drop nitro. That only I get the nitro mining bonus. It's a little bit, it is a little bit of a downer. It'd be kind of cool if they were leaving like big paths through everything. Just filled with nitra, I suppose. Okay, movement speed, reload speed. I guess we'll go reload speed on the high explosive grenades. Where are we going? I've already pretty much got everything I could possibly want here. I guess I'm just going to go back to mining.
because that little bit of extra nitra is kind of nice, especially while we're just killing time. Unless, of course, I do actually uh, get wrecked here. It's a possibility. You did not land where I was hoping you would land. Then again, I'm not actually sure if I want to kill the boss yet. I've only gained eh, eight levels. I guess eight levels isn't that bad. There's a couple of those big purple guys. Go for some more luck. Someday I would like to get a legendary luck pickup. Because I feel like that would be so spicy. Uh, let's see, throwable damage? Sure. I don't think I'm going to really focus on the axes at this point. I've used them, like, numerous times in the past, and they were okay. None of these suckers, though. Not this, either. Because, yeah, it shares almost no com commonalities. Cryo grenades. Sure, why not? We know how that works for me. I could go for that pickup radius. It might be good. It probably would be good. Okay, don't worry about the damage I'm taking. We'll heal it right back again. Give me that 12 armor. Wait. Okay, nope, they still hurt me. A guy can hope. On Hazard 1, you see 12 armor go by and you're like, did I just become invincible? The answer is, sadly, no. But I am a beefy boy. Ow, rude. I'm just leaving. Alright, so what do we want to do? Probably boost the high explosive grenade? <laughs> It really wants me to get a bunch of these. Grenades? No. I don't want to do damage to the terrain. I don't know if that counts. Let's just go for the throwable damage. And the overall damage. Good enough. I was hoping for like a legendary like mining speed or something. But yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we'll get our rocket and stone. No problem. We're already level 28, so, yeah. I, I don't even know why I'm thinking about objectives on this level. We are we already know that this is going to be a uh, cakewalk. A cakewalk that you can still throw. Like, the game is mildly dangerous. No matter what difficulty you're on. Meta progression just smooths it out so freaking hard. Okay, we good to go? We're good to go. That is one hell of a lot of enemies on the other side. I guess it's fine. Because I think the plasma grenades hit through the environment as well. Excuse me. I would like that experience, maybe. There's also a couple of loot bugs over here that I might as well splat. There we go. Let's see what I can get. Uh, no, that's probably a little bit of something. Yeah, somebody had asked recently if I would actually go back and play Deep Rock Galactic at some point. I think my current friend group isn't too keen on it. Some of them really like it, but... Uh, I don't know. Uh, ooh, mining speed? Yeah. I don't know what your guys' experience. Just you as a, a disassociated mass of viewers... Uh, watching these videos. I don't know what your experience life uh, experiences are like in life, uh, especially in, when it comes to like time and scheduling and whatnot. I I can't not. Even if it doesn't fit the build, that's uh oh even even the roly polies still bounce off of me. That's fun actually. Uh. But, like, I don't know how many of you guys are adults. My analytics say that most most of you watching my videos are in the, like, 20 to 45 range, which sounds about right and uh, is probably my ideal target audience. I find younger audiences tend to be a little bit demanding in a negative way. Um, 
Grab those Apaka Blooms. Bonus to Kinetic? No. Explosion Radius? No. Paint job. Size of Explosions? Size of Explosions. Um, But I, I don't know what your guys' experience is with, uh, with scheduling as adults and, like, playing games with other people. But my experience has been pretty awful. Like, even though I have, like, a bunch of friends that are, you know... YouTuber, streamer types playing games together and whatnot. It's still really hard to get people together for like a playthrough of anything, even if it's like Deep Rock Galactic uh, for a couple hours on an evening. Uh, that oftentimes you have a lot of people that are like, yeah, I don't actually like that game, or other people that are much more like kind of amenable, but their schedule sucks because, you know, being an. Uh, being a adult in this modern day and age is uh, hard to work around. Jobs, bills, everything, explosive damage. I was hoping that would be explosive radius, but alas, no dice. And so, I'm mostly hoping for Deep Rock Galactic Rogue Core to come out. I think that's going to be my, like, big, hey, I'm actually going to put a bunch of time into, into Durg. Because I think prior to that is just, I don't know, my... I'm busy. My friends are busy. I've got so many games to play through. Like, I, I mentioned earlier, I'm just, like, hanging out playing Unicorn Overlord today because I've got, like, a splitting headache. Um, and this is... Ugh. This sucks. Uh, let's just go for the move speed. It's not that helpful, but it's not that much of a hindrance either. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, but, like... I also have Final Fantasy VII that I probably want to finish and like a bunch of other things like I don't know I don't know how other people do it I guess other people are probably more discerning than I am I'm so spoiled for choice it is uh well, let's grab that and let's loosen some bolts I could get an upgrade on the axe but I think I'll just wait like I'm so spoiled for choice is kind of I don't want to say it's like um, a Black Mirror episode. No, Twilight Zone? It was the, uh, there was an episode. I've never seen it because I know uh, Twilight Zone and Black Mirror depressed the hell out of me. Or would if I watched them. Uh, but there was like some guy that just wanted to be left alone so he could read and so the world ends. He's like the last, last person left. Uh, and he's like on the steps of like the New York Library or something like that. All right, New York City Library. And his like glasses fall off and he, and he steps on them and it's this kind of one of those where where it's like monkey paw ha ah, you have all the time in the world to read finally except for now you can't read sucker and it i always i don't know i always found those stories to be just weird and mean-hearted oftentimes because the character didn't deserve it either like I, li I like horror series where it's super clear that the like people getting messed up kind of deserved it in various ways uh, because they suck. I'm trying to think of good examples of this. And unfortunately, I'm coming up with some blanks. I think just because I don't watch a whole lot of horror stuff to begin with. Um, I guess, like, I don't know, the more recent Ali Alien vs. Predator, maybe? Let's just do 10% damage to all weapons. Uh, or not the more recent one, the one back in like the 2000s where it was just like all of the shitty corporate people got wrecked. But I guess so did all of the good characters too. Uh, it was really just like the one lady that survives and that felt kind of bad, but that's also the point of AVP. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of this. I don't know. I need more like weird horror stories where... It's powered entirely by Schadenfreude. Where, like, it's Saw, but for billionaires. <laughs> uh, let's see. Grab this. Uh, let's sneak through, grab everything. Oh, yeah, we're way past level 43, so we are good to go. Let's, uh, let's go back to this one. Boy, I could use a magnet on this map. <laughs> Go for that explosion radius. Fortunately, I need these guys to explode. 
Luckily, I'm super powerful, so we can kind of just coast. The problem is this is going to give me bad habits so that when I get back up to Hazard 5, I'm just going to get wrecked. But you know what? That's part of the fun, I suppose. Go for Nitro Crit, so this should more or less give us 100% crit every round. Eat the damage because we don't really care too deeply. There's the boss. Unfortunately, I don't think we've filled out the entire map here. I think we've got most of it, but not quite. Uh, let's see. Scoot through, grab what we can. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Oh, was that the boss? I think that was the boss. I don't know. Do we give it a quick scoot? I don't see much of anything. Let's go back down. Uh, let's see. Sure. I'll grab a big paint job for the axes. I still don't think I care too deeply about them, but I'm not going to say no if it hands me maxing them out on a silver platter. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, speaking of, acid trail, fire trail, acid trail. Let's see, do we even need the crit chance? What is our crit chance right now? 96% obviously. Oh, right, we can over crit. There is 100% a, a reason why we would want to. Enemies run away from fear. I'm not sure if I actually care too deeply for that one. Uh, let's work on the cryo gren grenades. I might have actually been able to get the axe, but it's fine. There we go. I think I just generally don't, uh, just to go back to the, the horror movie thing. I think I just generally don't like horror movies because they always come off as mean-spirited. I realize that's the point of it. You're not supposed to feel good about a horror movie. But that doesn't stop me from wanting to feel good after the end of a movie. I think it's, oh, you know what? I like horror video games because almost always you might not feel good at the end of them, but you rarely feel like the, I don't know. It's, you're less likely to feel like bad about it afterwards, maybe. And maybe I just have only played like Dead Space and uh, Resident Evil, but like, not that Isaac Clarke came away unscathed, but at least Isaac Clarke and the people that were generally kind of associated with him. Well, okay, no, I guess, I guess I'm mostly thinking of, of Dead Space 2. Isaac Clarke survives because you're the main, uh, because you're playing the main character. You can't be too much of like a dickhead as a protagonist, and you also can't lose, generally, uh, or get defeated, get slain. Uh, let's see. You know what, actually, let's just reroll, see if I can get something else. Excuse me, I actually would like to say, take some damage here, thank you. I'm gonna just give some of these guys a bit of a hug. I don't really need to do this, but I might as well keep maxing my max HP for no good reason. No good raisin. Oh, no, oh, there we go. Okay, good. And our supply drop's coming in shortly. I'm trying to think of, like, other horror games that I've really gotten into. It was like, uh, Until Dawn. Though I would argue within Until Dawn, like, the... Well, no, most of the good characters did... Well, I guess all of the characters really survive. With the exception of, like one guy which was kind of weird and tragic in its own way okay chance to find more nitra sure let's see we actually managed to get to a reasonably good level here now that i'm looking at it I, I'm just trying to think of, like, other horror movies that I can, like, really name off the top of my head that ended in a somewhat satisfying manner, and the answer is probably not many. Often, or 
Also because I don't watch horror movies to begin with, but... Eh. I don't know why I'm on this topic. I'm not a specialist. This is, like, so far outside my wheelhouse that it doesn't even count. What's my crit chance up to? Chell's coming over being like, mm, I'm the horror master here. Which is true. She watches a ton of horror movies. But having seen a lot of them, it usually seems kind of bad. He says they're better if they're a mystery. Which is, yeah, makes sense. Okay. Yeah, do I want to just run around? I mean, what do I even do? We just do ring around this guy. This is one of those where I don't... I don't benefit from this run lasting long. The only thing I could potentially do is max up my axes, and even then that's super unlikely. Let's just rig around these weirdo, weirdo rocks. I was kind of hoping he would just, like, drop them on himself. But alas, no dice. I really wish the throwable build started with a different weapon other than the throwable axes. However, we have learned that the high explosive grenades aren't very good. I don't like the runaway and fear gas that comes with them. I was really hoping it would be, like, a way more fun upgrade. We've also unlocked the Viper Drone. We're getting pretty close to that acid build if we want to do it. So if we take a look at milestones, what am I missing? I know they added some. Uh, salty pretzel, 50 armor, and kill the dreadnought while you have it. You have less than 30 HP to get the mocap. That, some of that might be kind of tough. Two weapons level 18, stand still for 45 seconds, complete the death. 45 sec, oh, 45 seconds over the course of the run. Okay. Well, that's doable? What do we want to do with that one, then? I mean... We could be boring, go engineer. I'm just hoping it's not a cumulative 45 seconds. Because a cumulative 45 seconds is way different from a all-in-one. Anyway, two weapons to, uh, to 18. Is actually a weirdly tall order uh, with the way the RNG works in this. I'm not too worried by it. But it is... It is a little harder. Okay, oh, there was a little dude. Uh, let's see, status effect, nah. Even if I do go for status effect damage, it, that is not at all going to be the focus of this run. Chudra Diffractor, no. We're just going to go for the Voltaic Fence. Problem is Voltaic Fence doesn't really jive well with the standstill thing. However, I've never maxed it out in its entirety. So, I'm not against the idea of trying. Okay. Fire rate or paint job. I think we gotta go paint jobs on this one as much as that bonus fire rate would be incredible. Set that off. Grab a little bit of everything. Grab another paint job. Plasma bullets. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. Let's see. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna max my, my base turrets out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure everything else out later. I should probably actually get this done quick because we don't want to drop the supply drop on the boss. We need that little bit of extra time. Fill out the map. I don't know actually what's better, life regen or life on level up. Actually, life, life regen is better. Because you stop leveling up after a certain period of time.
Okay, crit damage. No, mining speed. Okay, there's the Magterra. I think we've got pretty much everything. There's a bit of Nitro we haven't gotten on the map. I know that much. Because you can kind of see the quotas. Uh, or not the quotas, the... Um, having played this, it's very good at giving exactly the same amount of um, resources. And maybe not exactly, but like a reasonably predictable band of resources on a per run basis. There it is. And it rarely deviates. So it's usually about 150 gold and about 60 nitra, give or take. Sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. Uh, but that seems to be about the expected averages. Okay, go for the experience gain. The problem with the experience gain in this is it's usually about two levels, maybe. All right, risk. I know. Let's see. Do we want to grab the drones? Yes. Explode when they're removed. Get the armor. I'm going to see if I can get the Viper drones up to 12, but if we don't get in this run, so be it. My chances actually feel weirdly high. Turrets, my nearby walls, yes. Give me some pickup radius. I'll go for some extra lasting. Do we do one more? I would have wanted that movement speed. I would have wanted a lot of these. All right, whatever. Okay, so the reason why I picked this up is now we've got a bunch of bouncing bullets that, if we're lucky, are just going to demolish the area. We didn't get a whole lot of fire rate here, which is a bit of a downer, but it's fine. But yeah, goal is ideally uh, plop down mines and hopefully they just rip through the environment for me. And with luck, that'll save me a tremendous amount of time. Let's see. Anything else? Yeah, just right here. I'll have to play around with this. The last time I, I did a turret build, somebody was questioning why I don't go for extra charges. I think it's because extra charges don't increase your fire rate effectively. So you can hold up to three turrets normally or three uh, electric fences. And by increasing that quantity, you can hold up to six. And so the question within that is, the reload rate, is it proportional to the amount you have or is it on a per charge basis? So whenever the, oh no, with the electric fence, it goes, it fills out entirely. I'm wrong. With the gun at least, it fills out one. Uh, let's go for the ammo rig. That extra fire rate's going to work in our favor. But with the Electro Fence, it might actually put down all of... Uh, it, it might... Uh, refresh all of them. Let's see. Does it go up to... Oh, it does. So the other issue with the Electric Fences are... Am I moving fast enough to even get those down? That's a different question. What's my armor up to? 33, so it actually wouldn't, be, wouldn't take me too long to get what I'm looking for here. Okay, I'm not seeing too much else. So the answer is, it it depends on the weapon. Uh, so for the regular turrets, extra charges doesn't really change too much. For the electro fences, if you're moving fast, it's real good. Okay, do we want to get the propulsors? Sure. Oh, that's 
three loot bugs right there. How does it work with the repulsors? Okay, the repulsors are on a similar setup. I'm just gonna keep stacking armor. If we can get that armor upgrade, that would be nice. I, I'm just trying to unlock as many things as I can, especially while we have the diffi difficulty low, because I'm not gonna wanna play around with it nearly as much on hazard four or five. Because the other thing I should be doing is... Oh, no. You know that whole standstill for 45 seconds thing? It's not cumulative. You have to do it in one go. I don't like that. Three extra charges or electrical beams to all nearby constructs. The thing is, as good as this is, I'm not moving fast enough to justify it. I'm just gonna hang out here. Get my turrets up as well. I can just hang out here for at least a little while. There we go. That's a good spot. Okay, extra charges or no, fire rate and accuracy. That would have been nice. Yeah, whole extra drone. I'll go for a little bit of crit chance. Good enough. So I think we're going to do the standstill for 45 seconds on the very last level. And it could also be one of those that I, I literally just load into the game um, with like a really basic run. Maybe? I don't know. We might actually be able to pull it off here. The problem is I, I desperately need some move speed. Because we got the mining down. Like I functionally don't need to care too much about... Uh, dealing with rock. Or stone. My turrets will just eat that for me. I don't know if that counts for the uh, mining objectives. Just plonk down for a second. I guess I could also just care care less about the resources I have and just say like, eh, better get get the objective. But I think I think that's just easiest if I do it at the very very end here, when when I don't need resources, when I've already gotten everything I could possibly buy. Because there are no more shops. What is my move speed at? Negative 1%. It's actually not that bad. Functionally useless. Picking it up anyway. Move speed buff when standing still. I guess there's no reason for me to stand still yet. I could. But I don't want to. Oh, should I have gone for the armor? I know there's a couple of loot bugs out there, but... I don't think I'm getting them this round. Actually taking a lot of damage here. And yeah, we... Can't stand still while we're waiting for, or once the boss shows up either. Let's see, extra lifetime. So yeah, lifetime works out real well for me. The longer my turrets last, the more of them there just are going to be out all at once. There 
go. Anything else? A little bit of gold. Uh, let's see. Pickup radius. Reload speed. I'm actually just going to go the reload speed on my turrets. Kill the elite slasher. I think we've pretty much gotten everything there is to get on this map. Unless I want to go find those. No, I probably shouldn't. I think we should just wait. It is funny watching my turrets just shred things. Yeah, I was hoping I'd be able to level up the acid drones. I mean, you know, we're, we're close enough that we probably can get it up the rest of the way. Maybe. It really does depend on if RNG just decides to hand me what I need, or if it decides to withhold it for reasons. Got it. Oh, armor. Shoot. I'm not doing my due diligence here. I'll just grab the pickup rate. I stopped going for armor after a certain point because it's not really relevant to me. But in this case, we're good. And we're not at the end yet. There we go. I was really hoping I could get a movement speed upgrade there, but I, frankly, we've already completed like a considerable portion of the objectives I kind of set for myself. We got the acid drone maxed. We've got the two weapons to 18. We've we're probably going to get the don't move thing. Let's see. There's the there's the movement speed. I'll have to do a, a seismic build at some point. I was just really hoping the seismic generators, like final upgrades, would be more interesting. Kind of like the high explosive grenade. I, I find some of the weapons in the game, they need something spicier for their overclocks. Like, stuff like extra charges should be a regular upgrade for some things, like the turrets, for example. You know, I'm almost never going to pick the extra the extra charges on my my turrets just because it doesn't it doesn't really excite me it doesn't change too much the one where it's useful is for the the electro offenses because you could potentially put down six um and so like you'll get so many more Let's see. Extra damage. On the shock fences. Sure. And maybe this is me just being overly commodity, but it, it feels like there's just so much more potential in some of these weapons. They just need the, the right overclock to pair with them. Okay, supply beacons in a good spot. And yeah, I don't have to go too far out of my way to grab grab stuff. We already got got our pocket blooms and then some. Just get a couple turts down. Yeah, we're good. Boy. The electro hell that I've I've put together here is delicious. I'll just go for the pickup radius. I hope that applies to the electro fences. Oh, you know what? Uh, back to the whole horror movies that have satisfying endings. Jurassic Park's probably one of the better examples I can think of. Where it's like, yeah, it's kind of spooky at times. I see them as comedies. 
but almost in universally the bad guys are just like unequivocally beaten down by their own hubris and dinosaurs and that feels weirdly satisfying the more recent movies have been questionable Like, whatever the most recent Jurassic World movie was, I actually kind of liked, but I liked despite itself. Which I don't think was the intended, uh... It was not the intended goal of the movie. The previous two were bad. And I don't actually remember if I've seen the other <laughs> Jurassic Park, like the original series, that much. Uh, let's just go for damage. Yeah. Let's just go for those. It should safeguard me pretty well. And we're just going to stand here for 45 seconds. Oh, good. So my electro fences do get put down? Or maybe only one did because I moved. I'm not too worried about it. I was kind of hoping to go for the seismic generators and said, holy smokes, that Praetorian did not want to go down. What are you up to? 26 seconds. Yeah, it's easy enough. Got to keep in mind, those suckers have way more HP than I thought they did. I usually don't pay attention is part of it now. Even with all that armor. What are you up to? A couple more seconds. It hopefully will pop up. There it is. I'm free. And now no one can stop me. Least of all you, slashy boy. Dang, that movement speed after standing still. It is so unbelievably niche. I don't think I will ever intentionally pick it. Even on this character, it's kind of awkward because it's just like, oh man, I get a burst of speed so I can leave and then I'm slow. And then it feels bad. I think movement speed especially is one of those where I do not like temporary buffs. I don't like temporary buffs in general. They're not my kind of thing. Um, we used to play some amount of World of Warcraft doing raiding. And I always stayed away from the characters that had like, oh shit buttons. Uh, and temporary buffs, and they all do to some degree. I never liked them. You know, give give me a buff that's gonna last for like an hour, or don't give me any of those buffs at all. And let me just focus on my rotation. Dodge chance when taking damage for reasons. Armor, reload speed for the seismic things. I'll have to give the seismic generators another go. Because, yeah, they actually were some of my highest DPS. They didn't feel it. And I have no idea where they're going to land on this one without many upgrades. I think the main thing is that they are just not... They have baseline AoE and do a ton of damage due to upgrades. But I feel like they're the ones that almost would benefit most from having some, like, cool overclocks. Like, uh, oh, what's a good one? One that makes it so instead of a circle around it, it's a uh, a cone, but like a bigger cone. I can see that being a lot of fun. Uh, one where it knocks enemies back, but if they they hit each other, they take damage. I can see that one actually being too powerful, but boy, would it be fun to watch in action. Oh, the boss is up. All right, wakey, wakey. Eggs in your dead son. Well, okay, he's not dead yet, but he'll get there. Don't want him to land on me, though. That would be bad for me. I'm just going to stop kind of periodically, like run and stop, just to get my turrets down, kind of in his way. I'll just kind of run in small circles, actually. Because that means he's just completely surrounded in explosi explosions. Explosions. 
It's definitely not my strongest run versus the Dreadnought, but I wasn't really expecting it to. We didn't exactly pick the most optimum of upgrades. Okay, it's over here. Still, I think we got every, every single upgrade we possibly could have wanted. Viper Drone, Salty Pretzel. All right. Yeah, so we still don't have the mole cap. Shredder Swarm Grenades. Oh, right, also dodge 100 times. Die three times, get the Diver's Manual. Hmm. Okay, so what do we have? Ah, Shredder Swarm Grenade is the last upgrade on the Engineer, or weapon on the Engineer. Plasma Charger is the last one on the Digger. I guess let's let's see what our last run is going to be. Crowd Grenade, grenade to 21. Okay, looks like we're going back to Driller with Explosives. And we're going Cryo Grenade. We also have to take out a ton of these Stalagmites. This slightly feels bad. I think it'll get better as we go on. Okay, so it's it's not the the things on the ground. Well, it's not the things on the ground, it's the initial ones that go gong 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 gong. Which is actually kind of a boost. Because that means I can smack him and then bail. Okay. Ugh. We need the Morkite. Well, there is a lot of Morkite here. Somebody pointed out that... Uh, there's a high chance on levels with Morkite, some of the spawns were actually stolen from, like, gold or nitro, so you're actually less likely to get resources. Uh, like, well, you're less likely, or you get less gold and nitro on levels with... Uh, Morkite as the secondary objective. Which is interesting and slightly annoying. Because I like having those resources and I... Like having those resources. Okay, let's just go for some damage. We should probably go for a bunch of reload speed when we get the chance. Okay, get a bit more mining speed just so I can cruise. We've still got a natural mining speed bonus due, due to being the miner, but... Ain't the same. Surprisingly few mid-bosses I've noticed in the Salt Flats. I guess it's the Roly Polaronis. I know they actually have a name. I just don't care to learn it. I will call them whatever whatever fits my my dumb brain naming schemes. Now the one problem is I needed the plasma grenade. Or not the plasma grenade. I needed the cryo grenade. Correction, I don't. I can just not. But that in and of itself would feel bad. So, I don't know. Oh, interesting. The falling slag my or er, the falling bits actually killed the loot bug. So they're not impervious to secondary harm. You can kill them through other means. Is not easily. Okay, do we have anything left? Yeah, a bit of gold. You know what? They might have actually changed it so the Morkite levels aren't as stingy. That's it. Initial explosion that does kinetic damage.
Okay, and I'm not I'm not seeing anything else. Loot bug, maybe. But not really much of a reason to farm here, at the very least. What's my HP doing? It's doing fine. Be level 15. Yeah, let's just go for the armor. I think I'm having that, uh, the problem I have often when I'm doing a, a run where I don't have, like, a specific way of aiming at enemies is that I end up in this kind of weird negative feedback loop where I can't do a whole lot of damage to my enemies. Specifically the ones that I need to kill. All throwable damage, crit chance, throw throwable reload speed. And we need to we need to focus the cryo grenade. Oh boy. We also need to get out of here. Oh okay, it's not that far away. I was worried for a hot second there. Up we go. Uh, pick up radius, pick up radius. I don't think we have anything that's gonna let me get more. Uh, let's see. Fine. I'll buy an upgrade for the axing as it's there and good. I'll probably get the ice grenade. Oh, we have to hit way more of these things. I wonder if I can get killed by those. I'm going to bet not because they always seem to fall, fall in a circle around me, but I can see a run that's fast enough. Walking into the, the fall pattern for them. Okay. Let's do a scoot. You're not what I wanted, but I'm not going to say no to you. This is the, the problem I have with runs where it's just like, do this a very specific, or upgrade this very specific weapon. It'd be easier if it was like, Upgrade one throwable. But I guess that might be too easy. Oh, baby. You know, I'm not even... I'm still not sure if those are amazingly good. Okay, explode the terrain. No. Bigger frost explosions. Exploding the terrain is nice. But we're the... We're the digger. We don't really need it. Feels like uh, loot bugs might have also gotten a bit of um, a nerf health-wise. It feels like they go down faster. And yes, I know the supply drops up above. It was just really not convenient in my path at the moment. Okay, what do we want? Barely that. Go for the incendiary grenade for reasons. I figured we'd loop back and grab it. Ow. The one thing I'm noticing on this is I'm I am taking a lot more random damage here. The little bouncy boys uh, are hard to dodge. They're everywhere and they are quick. At least quick enough that I'm taking hits.
Yeah, I just noticed. I'm supposed to be hitting those. Okay, and then there's the supply drop. Let's see. Explosive, explosive damage, throwable damage. Tomato, tomato. Might as well go with the explosive since it kind of ties into something else. Okay, and then I kind of don't want the boss to get hit by this. Want everything else to get hit by it, but not the boss. Let's just do healing on level. Okay. And we might just end up going plasma grenade by accident. Well, not really by accident. Because RNG has said no cryo grenade. I'll see what this shop's got for me. As much as I want to reroll, 15 gold to reroll here, it's a trap. It's a psychical, uh, psychological trap designed to cause harm. Damage and reload or Ionizes the plasma, shocking enemies. Let's just go with that. So now we've got lightning and plasma. And also, is, I think, a secondary kinetic attack, too. The plasma grenade kind of does all types. Let me take a look at it. Yep. Wait, does it actually say? Oh, tag mastery. Yes. But, yeah, we're also getting kinetic damage. And lightning. Is it going to be that good? I don't know. As much as I want that, we've got a frost grenade upgrade. I almost passed up on it because it looked like a fire grenade. Range your axes. Sure. Okay. Could extend this out, but it doesn't really help me much. Uh, let's see. Now I'll get the plasma grenade up. It's not really my goal. The other thing is, I think my pickup radius is already really good. It's pretty good. Could be higher. That was a considerable chunk of my HP. Like, that extra crit would be nice, but... We have a mission. And I'm only... I'm not even halfway there. Alright, let's see what we can get. Three weaker versions, explosion radius. I'm just gonna save it. I'm level 40 and we just cleared level 2, damn. Is that the highest level I think I've ever gotten at the end of that level? It might be? It didn't feel like we were there for a while, but we weren't getting overwhelmed. So I'd kind of been wondering about it. My sense of time starts to kind of dip after a couple runs of this, because it's just kind of like one smooth experience. It's, uh, how to describe this game? I guess the closest comparison I could think of 
would be like, I don't know, cookies and cream or something. Where it's like, yeah, it's all kind of like there's different flavor bits, but it's all the same consistency the whole way through. Very comforting. I haven't had cookies and cream ice cream in a while. I should probably do it again. I think my problem is um, I live near like a rather nice dairy. Um, and so it's actually reasonably easy for me to like go there and pick up some like wild flavor that I've never heard of before. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like conjure names but not the one, uh, not the actual names, because if I did, somebody might be like, oh, I go to that dairy. Because that would be weird. I mean, like, I don't mind being recognized. My biggest fear is somebody recognizing me and then following me home. But I also don't think I'm the kind of creator that most people would do that with. Like I said earlier, uh, most of my target audience is kind of an adult at this point. And so the the chances of me having too many fans that are like weird creepy are kind of on the lower end compared to a lot of other creators. Uh, but I ain't rolling that dice. If you want to see me, find me at conventions. Or, well, I guess that would have been valid. I don't go to conventions anymore. I pretty much haven't done a whole lot of like my big go out and do anything interesting. Um, Business-y venture trips. Uh, I, I don't go to like conventions. I don't go to packs. I don't go to uh, like any big, I guess not that anime conventions were really a business thing, uh, but I used to go to anime conventions, not infrequently just because they were kind of fun. Um, but I, I pretty much went cold turkey on most of those things a long time ago. Uh, Cause like, no matter how much I miss going to conventions and, and being out and about, every time I read about people getting COVID, I'm just like, nah, it's not for me. I'm enough of a homebody. Holy shit, that thing's coming through fast. Not one of the bosses, though. That's just a dude. Uh, but yeah, just reading about COVID, or long COVID especially, and I'm just kind of like, nah, yeah, not, not my scene. Not interested in taking that kind of risk. And so I've largely locked myself away. Which sucks a little bit because, like, I've become notorious enough that uh, I'm getting messages from developers being like, Hey, you going to GDC? I'd love to, like, meet up with you and, like, just chat for a while. I'm like, yeah, that would be cool. But as of yet, no. Someday. I think what I'd like to do is probably hit up Gamescom. I've heard very good things about it. Okay, so what do we got? I guess part of the reason why I'm such a high level is because we're absolutely beasting most things. These explos explosives? These explosions are massive. Let's get that reload speed even to be even faster. I'm curious what the practical maximum you can get up to is. If there is even a practical maximum. Okay. Grab a little bit of everything. But still, at some point I'll probably start doing conventions again. Nope. Oh, gotta get this one. Pulls enemies in. So now we've got the polar inversion grenades. And we're throwing them out fast enough, largely, that we have the perfect zone of safety. It's not the level of, like, whiteout territory that we were in previously. I think they might have actually made it so it's easier to see. Because, yeah, I was, I was having one hell of a time seeing anything uh, on that one Polar Inversion Super Grenade run. I wonder if the developers watched that. I'd, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. Hey, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor developers, if you're out there. 
guess status effect damage really isn't that helpful here. Oh. All right, so we just need a paint job for this sucker. Well, that's not a paint job for it, but I'm not saying no. Okay, we still got one more level. We only need... Uh, we, one more floor after this. We're level 52, so we're not going to be leveling that much. But if we're lucky, this shop will be somewhat forthcoming. Maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Either way, this has been a satisfying run. But no, I, I, I don't know. I, I've always been kind of a hermit personality to begin with. I'm an outgoing person. I probably count as an introvert. Maybe. I'm an introvert with a very high tolerance for socialization. I think the big issue is just that I'm also very aware of, like, how much fun I'm having at any given moment. Uh, I think it's because, like, in my head, I'm kind of constantly doing that math for, like, the games I'm featuring. And so, like, if I'm not enjoying a game, I want to bail on it because I have better things to do. Um, let's just gain the armor. Let's see. And so as part of that, like, if I'm out and about or around people or doing something that I really don't want to do, uh, it very quickly just kind of, like, hits me of, like, yeah, I, could, I really could be doing this other meaningful thing. Um, I don't know if it's really, like, hustle culture exactly. Um, but when I was young, you know, just a teen, I didn't have much for uh, a work ethic. I'd work hard on projects I was interested in, but there was not much that actually caught my attention because it was all just, like, boring schoolwork. Like, I love math. I love math dearly, but I have to do something with it to actually enjoy math. And so, like, I cared about math class to some degree, but I was never, like, particularly apt at getting all my homework done exactly. Um... And it was even worse for, like, history and some other things. I think it's because American history education, uh, or the American education system does not do history justice. I was actually talking to Shell about this the other day. The, um, the absence of edutainment games. Uh, let's just go for the crit. We only need one more level on the frost grenades, and we still have a shop that I can go through. So chances are I'm going to get exactly what I'm looking for. Um, but I legitimately wonder if I actually would have been an even better student if I was just given, like, a, a, like, a heck ton of video games that cover the topics instead. You know, give me Math Blaster, but for calculus. You know, get it to the point where I'm, I'm designing full, um, ooh, we're actually dying here. I should probably stop playing stupid here for a moment. Uh, but like Math Blaster, but with Calculus, where you have to, like, design your ship systems. And whoops to do you got the calculation on your engines wrong, you got blown up. You have to do, like, really extensive and kind of insane things. Uh... Actually, no, let's go for this. We've, we've already got the objective that we're looking for. Oh, the boss has already spawned. Boy, you really can tell I'm paying attention here, can't you? Yeah, let's go through this. I don't know if there's any more resources on this map. Or if we've largely emptied it out. I think we have. Best to check, though. Um, but yeah, I, I, would, I would absolutely learn way, way more anything if I actually had, like, a practical reason to do it. So at some point, I'm going to, uh, I don't know when this is going to be, but, uh, I really want to get into a lot of tabletop RPGs. But I don't want to just, like, do Theater of Mind because that's boring. I'm an artist, and I can do things that other people can't. I mean, everybody can. Art, art is, like, easy. It just takes a lot of practice. And once you get good enough at it, then it's, like, second nature. Uh, 
No different from really any other skill, no matter like how impressive it might look. Uh, let's go for the relo reload speed on the fire grenades. I want to get to the point where I'm doing a Lancer tabletop RPG campaign in... I, I don't actually know the system necessarily. But what do we... We want to boost... Well, let's get the reload speed. This is meaningless. Explosion radius. I guess we could have added the kinetic damage, but eh. I was kind of hoping I could get my plasma grenade up to absolute maximum. I think we will. I think we can get one more level here. We'll see what happens. Uh, da, 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 da. But yeah, I want to do um, I want to do a Lancer campaign in. Oh, oh no, we have probably two more of these clusters. Good. I was actually worried we weren't going to be able to get that one done. But I want to 3D model all of the mechs that are uh, that I'm using over like in the Lancer campaign uh, and so like you know it'd probably be theater of mind for everything leading up to the fight and then as soon as like the mechs are in play then it's grid based everything matters and I've got like super cool 3D models and environments and whatnot to play around with I think that would be a lot of fun if I did not have a goal like that I don't think I would be teaching myself uh, 3D modeling uh, not that I'm making a whole lot of headway on that process. Right now, it's mostly uh, working on s illustrations and some other stuff. Um, the same can be said about art. I was not really, like, that big of an artist, even. I drew a lot when I was in elementary school, but I never, like, really thought about it, and so I just stopped in middle school, like, completely, without even, like, processing that, hey, I've stopped doing this thing that I dearly love. Um because I think it wasn't practical at the time. I wasn't good enough. I was taking art classes, but I wasn't, like, really pushing my art skills. I was just there because it was fun. Um, and maybe this is just kind of something, as you grow up, you kind of hit that realization of, like, oh, now this is when it matters. Um, let's see, where are we at? No. But... I uh, got back into art in high school, specifically because I'd started reading webcomics, uh, specifically like Dominic Deegan and uh, uh, Dresden, Co Dresden Kodak especially, which I think is still like going. If you guys uh, have never seen that one go by, the first like, do we actually care? Let's go for the gold booster. Okay, so now this costs me 50 gold. Hey, we got it. Bounce more times before detonating. Interesting. Uh, yeah, Domin uh, Dominic Deegan was a good webcomic. Uh, a little rough around the edges, and I do not remember anything about the plot. Dresden Kodak was nonsense. The beginning starts as kind of like a gag comic, and then it quickly gains a plot. And has still been going. And that's cool. I need to catch up. I'm, like, seven years behind. <laughs> I just, like, randomly checked my old RSS feeds, and I was like, oh, yeah. These, some of these comics are still, like, in play. But they were so, like, well done at the time and so interesting and, and fun that I was just like, I should learn how to draw so I can do this myself. And so I was, like, going to go to college to teach myself, like, how to make comics so I could become a web comic artist. That didn't go very far. Someday I would actually like to spend, like, a whole whole year uh, going extremely hard on making a webcomic uh, as like a one, maybe two year project and then it's done. And then, you know, mo either move on to something else or just things in my life. But kind of same vein, I want to do the same thing with uh, tabletop RPGs. Like 3D model the heck out of a bunch of mechs and be like, all right, you run across like five Zakus and like, uh, oh shoot, I don't, I don't remember my Gundam naming unfortunately but yeah you just run across like these guys in the field and like here's the plot reasons why you're here and then everybody slams down their own max and it's cool that'd be fun anyway this was fun i got way off topic but that's deep rock galactic survivor for you i like these new levels i like the major changes and i'm looking forward to the next ones i don't think i'm going to be playing this super duper often um probably either like once or twice a week if things are slow or less than that if there are new releases but i will come back for every major update 
as long as I know they ha happen. So I guess, of course, uh, if this game gets updated and I haven't put out a video on it in like 48 hours, hop on my Discord and check because I might not know and I'd love to come back for more. It's just impossible to keep track of like the 200 some games that are currently in development that I'm also trying to keep track of. And so sometimes those, these updates uh, pass me by. And so I very much would appreciate some help in making sure I cover all of them. Speaking of the whole 3D modeling thing, I think you can see just slightly the curvature of this planet is angular. It kind of goes and then angles and angles and angles and it looks like a curve. Um, but I've started noticing this more of like, oh yeah, those are the polygons. It's fun. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.